In this video will teach you how to solve a basic DTFT problem. There are two different ways to look at and solve the DTFTs. First, let's start out by pointing out that the capital X e to the j omega is equal to x capital X omega. All right. So moving into solve how the first way of solving this problem is going to be through the analysis equation, which is x omega is equal to the summation of negative infinity to infinity of x of k times e to the negative j omega k. First we must know the sequence that we are trying to solve. Our sequence that we are trying to solve today is xk is equal to 1 fourth raised to the k times the unit step of k. So the first step we do is plug in our x of k into the analysis equation as shown. Once we complete this, we have to realize that we have to find out, get the summation in a form that we can relate to through an identity or such. So our first step, we will notice that the unit step can be removed by changing the summations in a rule from n equals zero to infinity instead of negative infinity to zero. Next, we will pull out the k exponent and put so that it's the summation with one fourth times e to the negative j omega all raised to the k. Now, we must use our summation knowledge to know that the summation of n equals zero to infinity of a n is equal to 1 over 1 minus a. From this we can use this knowledge to obtain that our answer for our DTFT is equal to 1 over 1 minus 1 fourth times e to the negative j omega. This solves this part of the part this portion of the problem. The other way, as we mentioned earlier, to solve a DTFT differs as in it first involves finding the Z transform. So for the same sequence of XK is equal to one over four K times a new step of K, we start out by finding what this relates to in our Z transform table. From the Z transform table, we can find A to the N times UN implies one or is the transform is the transform where are you at real quick? Let me see where you're at. Z transform table, okay. So from the Z transform table, A to the N times U of N, Z transformed is equal to 1 over 1 minus a times z to the negative 1. So now we will plug in for our z transform. Once we have done this, it is simple as to plug in e to the j omega for wherever there's a z to go to x omega. Thus we have solved the problem using two different methods to solve a simple basic DTFT problem. And that was really wordy there on the end.